There's something reclaiming about encountering a mountain range by way of approach. And for the first time, I'm going up solo, on a motorcycle. In fact, this will be my first time ever to ride one. And with the way the flow of traffic moves through these parts, I need to be extra careful. This is the Basang Pass and it is known for its extreme hazards both by its unstable cliffs and unpredictable drivers. How come everybody's passing this foreigner who's never rode a motorbike before? What's going on here? Sang Pass is located in Suyu via Cervantes, a local sur, and serves as a gateway to the Cordillera mountain region. The ascent up the pass is sudden and steep, with hairpin turns navigating sheer cliffs and sharp ridges. And I am no stranger to this place, as it is the birthplace of my wife, and nestled in the heart of this place lies our mountain home. I had to go down and get fuel first, four kilometers down the mountain. So that's why I'm driving by my house instead of starting from my house. So up we go. You see the Pasang Pass. And to get some good video shots, hopefully, with the drones. Certain time of the day, the position of the sun makes a big difference on how well the video is going to look. So I'm hoping morning time is the right time of day to do it. Morning, landslide prone area. That is an understatement. Got some furniture. That looks nice. We're talking big mountains here, boys. I tell ya. village of Hot for our houses.
These trucks are continuously come, climbing up the mountain. Honestly, I can't understand how the road can handle their payload where it's compromised up there. Pretty, pretty severe places. How they're able to pass, but they're doing it. used to doing stuff like that, passing big trucks. I'm not used to driving on motorcycles. Ever. First time. So needless to say, I try to drive as careful as I can. Okay, look down there. Village of Manatum. That's the first Crusader church with the crown on the top of it that I've taken so many pictures of. Over there is the sleeping giant. And up this way is the continuation of the Pasang Pass. There's a water cistern. You'll see lots of, lots of these things all the way down the mountainside, and there's pipes in them. And they're collecting water coming off of the mountain. And they fill these cisterns with water, and it supplies everyone in the community with drinking water, which is vital for life. Okay, just stop for a little break here because we got a nice shady area. And uh, look, they're pine trees. Pine trees can only grow in the Philippines at high elevation. So, we're at high elevation here. And it's still continuing, continuing to go up, 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 and up. The passage is going that way and then bends to the right. So, we still got a little ways to go yet. I might be a little pressed for time, so I don't know if I'll make it to the top today, but let's see how far I can go. There they go. I'm not ready for that kind of riding yet. Especially on the Basang Pass. I'll stick with my Easy Desert style. Sometimes I deem it wise to take my time in certain scenarios and this is one of those times but bear with me for a moment and enjoy the scenery we will reach the top soon enough why do I always get an itchy nose as soon as I start driving the bike I don't like taking one hand off the handlebars to scratch my nose but I kind of have to Warning, falling rocks ahead. Oh dear. Here 
there goes the blue truck guy. I see him a lot. I love driving in the mountains. Especially in the Philippines. Okay, let me get another stop here. Because we got a waiting station here. Yeah, I just want to find a good spot to put this bike. Uh, right there, looks good. Okay. Okay. Here's our vantage point. We're looking at the passion uh northwesterly uh angle i believe i got the sun behind me so that's in the east it's 9 30 in the morning uh and i know west is that way some more of those pro rider guys okay I think I'll get the drone out again in my hot box in my trustworthy Indiana Jones hat actually it's Australian I ordered it online from Australia I'm gonna go for a little walk up here. Oh, there's some shacks up here. Interesting. I don't know if it's someone's place. Maybe I better not intrude. Just in case. Come back down. Back on the road again. Route 205. The National Road. The same pass. The number 205. It's not a place that's easily forgotten if you've ever driven it. Hmm. They like to drive fast, eh? We'll be seeing them soon. This is definitely a stop point here. It's definitely a place you want to stop and have a look. Crap, it's high. <laughs> okay, I always talk about this phenomenon called touching the sky. Well, have a look. I'm touching the sky. And did I mention I'm afraid of heights? Because, oh, <laughs> I remember coming here in 2016 and uh, leaning like this and trying to look over the side. Uh, and I still get the same feeling. <laughs> wow, still the sleeping giant, the nameless mountain, so I gotta find out the name of, that stands out above the rest, 
And the pass keeps going up and up and up. Okay. I think this is a good as good place as any to bring the drone out. Probably the one of the best vantage points. Uh, providing I can get the lighting right, the sun. Let's give it a try. These guys are riding in a pack. First time riding it? Yeah. Yeah, it's First awesome. Time it's awesome. Isn't it? Sagada is really cool too. Yeah. I went there in 2016. Right. Okay, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, hold on, I gotta clean the lens. Is that better? Okay. So here's the deal. We're at the top of the Basang Pass. However, you can go higher. And it goes up, 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 up. And if you go that way, you actually go to my wife's father's lands that he had up in the mountains. And 
I think there's 10 hectares up there. There's several several parcels of land up there, and I think they have 10 hectares, according to the information I have. But it is a long, long ways down to civilization. <laughs> so it's hard to live. It is a hard place to live up here. It's only the basics. But it looks like there are improvements. Um, there's electricity, and I don't know how far it continues, but um, that is a plus sign for the people that are living up, up here. Those buildings over there are part of the uh, Basang Pass Memorial uh, Complex, uh, which tells a story about the Second World War and the Allies uh, coming in here and overtaking the Japanese occup occupation. The Japanese were well grounded in here and the grasslands are too high but they were established on the other side of the mountain range in Cervantes. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to go, can you see it? I'm going to go up there, the ranger station. That's where I went last time I was here in 2016. I climbed up to that ranger station and this time I have the drone with me. I want to see what kind of footage I can create with that this time. So we go. There's going to be a bit of a climb to get up there. I'll have to start over there. And up, 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 up a path. And there's some gardens along the way. Oh. Well, it's been seven years since I've been to this place. Woo! It just got really hot. Holy cow! Okay, this might be a little hard to see with this camera, but I can see a water line crossing this gorge down below me. And believe me, it drops off immediately. Another step ahead, and I'd be tumbling down to wherever where the bottom of that is. So, I best be careful. Watch my step. No clumsiness. Can't afford that. I used to have this guardrail here. And normally it's cool up the top of this mountain, but there's the sun, <laughs> and there's the mountain pass I went up, and the mountain pass was giving me protection from the sun until now because I'm at the top of it. Okay, starting to wind me a little bit. Almost there though. Keep going. The ranger station. Oh, there's actually a pine tree up here. Never surprises me. The persistence and resilience of nature. Yeah, I am slipping. It's steep. Camera doesn't do it any justice, but if you ever find yourself coming up this path, you're gonna know it. Whew. It's steep. Okay. Almost there. Another set of stairs to go up. It's like climbing up a tower. It doesn't shake like some towers. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, my breath. <sighs> Path, road, whatever you want to call it. Continues going up, 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 and up. Even higher than here. <sighs> my wife's father's lambs were up there. He since passed away, I think, in 2000. So. The land belongs to the family now. Her and her siblings. Ah, I just want to gaze at this for a few minutes. You know what's interesting? Off in the very background, there's another mountain back there with a huge face on it. And I'm kind of thinking, 
Last night when I was at the sunset in Suyu on the ocean near Tegwaden, I think I was zooming in on that with the drone. It sure looks familiar. And there's the other mountain pass. My tour guide from the, the Soyu Town Hall who works in the mayor's office was telling me the history of these mountains. So that one further back there, there was an, a major battle fought there. And the one that we're at here now, I think was a more recent battle fought from the Second World War with the Japanese. But if I understood him correctly, I think he was talking about um, the colonial era during the Spanish Spanish occupation. There was a battle fought there, and um, the Filipinos eventually won back their sovereignty, took back the land, and got the aliens out. And that's what they, I'm nervous of heights here. And that's what they celebrate on February 4th, Liberation Day. Incredible. I can see lines crossing down there. Last time I was here, I saw a waterfall someplace. I've not seen it this time, but it is dry season. And it almost looks like straight ahead on the other side there there's buildings some small buildings and it looks like farmland this place is freaking extreme in nature the steepness and the pronounced height of these mountains is absolutely astounding and looking down at that gorge you can only imagine how deep that goes down I sure wish I had more time because I would I would love to find a way if there is one to go explore in there Maybe another day, next time I come back. Oh